Good afternoon, my friends. Today I am going to make a couple loaves of pumpkin bread. And to get us started, I am going to cream together two and two third cups sugar along with two third cups of shortening. So we're gonna measure out two and two third cups of white granulated sugar. And then I need two third cups of shortening. I haven't made pumpkin bread in a long time. And I have some pumpkin puree from back in October that I had made up and put in the freezer. So I figured I'd do that up today. Oh, I need to add two third cups sugar to you. Shoot. Well, we got that one dirty now, so I have to get out my one third cup. I'm going to cream this together. a little bit longer on this. Now I'm going to add in four eggs. I like having my garbage bowl right there. And there's four eggs. And I need two cups of pumpkin puree, which is right here. And then two third cups of water. And now I'm going to mix this in here.
this going a little bit more. All right. Now I need three and one third cups of flour. Better do my one third first, otherwise I might forget that. Here's my one third. And now I need three. And I'm not going to have enough flour in here. One. Two. And three. And then I need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. and two teaspoons of soda. Oh shoot, then that's a half. So there's one and two teaspoons. And then I need one and a half teaspoons of salt. Teaspoon of cinnamon. And one teaspoon of cloves. Give these a little whisk to get them mixed up good. I'm going to add these to that wet mixture probably in three batches. And I need my oven preheated to 350. All right, I'll add this in about three batches here.
didn't lose too much flour, so that's a good thing. Scrape down these sides. Now I'm going to add in two thirds of a cup of chopped walnuts. After I mix this a little more, I just noticed all the cinnamon and everything. two-third cups of chopped walnuts here and I am going to add a few mini chocolate chips about a third of a cup and give this another stir going to make us two loaves. So one for now and one for the freezer. I have never baked with my own pumpkin puree, so hopefully this will turn out. Oh, that's going to be two big loaves, I think. Okay. So now I'm going to spray two loaf pans. chips like to stick on the bottom. Alright, now we'll divvy this up between the two pans.
And then this is going to bake for an hour and 15 minutes. So once that is done, I will bring you back and show you the finished results. And here's two loaves of pumpkin bread going in the oven. And we will see you later. Okay, you guys, since that banana bread is in the, or pumpkin bread is in the oven, I decided I was going to bake some banana nut muffins. So in here, I got a half a cup of butter. Add one cup of sugar. And I'm going to cream that together. Okay, now I'm going to add my two eggs. Give that a quick mix. All right, now I'm going to add two cups of flour. Okay, there's one cup. There's a second cup, and I need a teaspoon of soda. And a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix that up. Oh, I need a teaspoon of vanilla. Give this a quick mix before I add the bananas. And I'm going to mash up three bananas and add them.
And I do have one banana left here. So I'm going to get this mixed up first and see what that this looks like before adding that other one. I can afford to add that other banana. These will be going into the freezer along with one of the loaves of pumpkin bread. Okay, add these chopped walnuts. some mini chocolate chips. Add all the way. I just checked my banana uh, pumpkin bread. We still got a good 20 minutes left on that and I stuck a toothpick in it just out of curiosity and yeah it's gonna be in there we got 20 minutes yet it's all right that'll give us time to get these banana in the muffin pans okay Okay, I did a little bit of cleaning up behind the scenes because that's what I do. I'm going to line these muffin tins with our cup liners. And I got a cookie scoop here that I'll use to fill these. Just start with one big dollop because I do want to get all two dozen of them. Straight the sides and get a little dollop in another one. Okay, they're all looking pretty much even. Okay, there you have banana nut muffins. And these will go in the oven when the banana or uh, pumpkin bread comes out. And I'll be back to show you the pumpkin bread. And then these will go in. See you in a bit. Okay, look at this banana. Or I keep calling it banana. Look at this pumpkin bread. Oh, that looks incredible. I'm going to leave it sit here for about 10 minutes before I take it out of the hot pans 
and now the banana nut muffins are in. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel, and we will see you next time. Bye.